Now today I felt like jamming a bit of Escape from Tarkov, so that's exactly what we're going to be playing. I know there was a wipe recently, so hopefully we can get a bit of loot and get started up. We're just going to take the scav out for a quick run, see what we can get our hands on, and hopefully no other player scavs be dickheads, because that's 90% of player scavs on this game. And there's a scav already, so... There's that, I guess. I haven't played a lot of this map, but from what I've seen, it's more like a fucking horror theme. Like, it's terrifying coming in here sometimes. It's all dark and shit, plenty of places for people to hide. It's always worse when you're playing at like 4 o'clock in the morning, you're so zoned out, and then all of a sudden someone shoots a shotgun or something just nearby or just over there or something, they're so fucking loud and it echoes all the way through here, you scared the absolute shit out of you. Ooh, that's mine. I don't even know if there's really a point of going after money as a scav. Oh, I got a grizzly. But if I'm playing on my main character, then I'll usually just grab it and I'll chuck it in my case. Because why not? It's easy money. At least you get something back if you die. But I don't know if there's even really a point going after it as a scav. I think the real surprise here is the fact that I've got a fucking grizzly. That near makes me want to extract just with that. Turn off my light. It's a pain in the ass because it's a bit dark in here, but it's better than getting spotted from halfway across the map. What shotgun have I got? Uh, yep. Hopefully I'll make it out with this shotgun, because there's actually a challenge for getting three of these. So if I can get one without having to go and get it myself, that would be great. Goddamn next door neighbor's dog barking. I don't think I've ever personally had a vendetta against an animal, but that's pretty much going to be the one that I'm going to have a vendetta against, if any. Fucking thing does not shut up from 4 o'clock in the morning to late in the afternoon. That's all it fucking does is bark. I suppose while we're here, instead of making a whole separate video, I should talk about what's going to happen in the future. Basically, it's been up in the air for a while now whether I was going to actually change my name. Because if you don't know where my current name comes from, I'm not surprised, because you'd have to be pretty OG to the channel to know that. And basically, as I've progressed over the years and I've matured a little bit with my content, I figured out the current name that I have is too much of a pain in the ass to remember. Like, putting myself in someone else's shoes, if I seen this channel name, there is no fucking way I'd be able to remember it. I'd probably get close, to be fair, but I wouldn't be able to remember it, I know that. So what I'm either going to do is I'm either going to drop the wrist part from it, I'm just going to have instinct but with a 1 as the first eye, or I'm probably going to drop the instinct part and just keep risk, but that's pretty short and I'm not sure how exactly I'd work that because I want it to look pretty unique. And as for the type of content that I'll be doing, it'll be much and much the same as how my channel originally started off, which is I just upload things with a couple of mates, but now of course I'll be doing solo videos because I've actually got the confidence to do that sort of shit as well, but it won't necessarily be on one particular game. So I want to start to reintroduce games like this, which is Escape from Tarkov. Of course I'm going to play Fallout when it comes out because why the fuck not? I'm not sure if I'll play games like Red Dead and that because I can't see myself making content on that. Like, I'll definitely play it, but I just can't see myself making content on that game. And I'm not about to do the typical YouTuber thing. Yeah, there's a big new game out. Everyone's playing it. That's the big craze. Oh, fuck. Well, that didn't go well. Now, as I was saying before, I was so fucking rudely interrupted. I'm not about to jump on the bandwagon like everybody else does and play the absolute shit out of a particular game just because it's getting a lot more exposure on YouTube and create a shotgun effect to try and get subs which is virtually, if you know how a shotgun obviously works with buckshot is you have a shit ton of little pellets in there and that's virtually what the shotgun effect is for creating videos they create a shit ton of videos a week and even if you only get 5 or 10 subs from each video that adds up pretty fucking quick when you're releasing a bunch of videos a week. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that method, but that's just not me. I'm just going to be here playing games because I generally enjoy them. I'm not going to fucking upload something I don't enjoy. As for Ark, where do I stand with Ark at the moment? I still love the game and I love the idea of the game. I love what it brings to the table that you just can't get from other games. But unfortunately Ark is a double-edged sword because although it brings something completely different to the table that other games don't have, it comes at a pretty hefty cost too. The game is ultra time consuming and I just don't have the time to sit there and play it like I used to. 
And if you follow me on social medias, which you should, cheap plug in here, then you'll already know why I don't have that one. Ooh, that's a lot fucking closer than the last one was. Yes, instinct. Let's run towards the gunshots, you brain dead fuck. Only I'd be stupid enough to run at gunshots with just a pistol. But I mean, we only have a pistol. Might not go that great. As I said, I'm not that great at the game. I haven't had a lot of experience on it, but fucking who knows? Miracles do happen. A couple of the things that I wanted to try in ARK, because I still do want to play it, like, the mindset is there to still play it, it's just I can't play it in the way that I usually play it. So basically, I've just been chilling on an unofficial server, yep, that kind of made me want to throw up a little bit to say that. But I've been chilling with a couple of the dudes from our old alliance, because that's what our alliance is, we're actually friends, we actually play shit together. And I'm not saying there's not other tribes out there that are friends and play other games and shit and like genuinely actually like each other. But fuck me, I've tuned into like streams of other tribes and just their alliances. It's almost like they hate each other. But a couple of the things that I did want to try. One was I wanted to try the small tribe servers and give that a go. Because apparently that's a lot of fucking fun. But if I did that, it'd be solo. Because like I ain't really got anybody to play that with. No one's really interested. The boys I used to play with seem to have absolutely gotten over the game. The other thing I wouldn't have minded giving a go. Not so much for anything serious, just to have a bit of fun. Was I kind of wanted to start a mega with just like people off YouTube. And I know that there's going to be people that come in and deliberately try and inside and that that's part of what turns me off that idea but I also imagine it could be a lot of fun too. Do it on PC, you're 100% guaranteed to get fucked. Like I'm telling you, the PC mega tribes are way fucking more lethal than what the console ones are by far. There's just regular big tribes on there that make some of the fucking console like megas look really bad. I swear there was like three boxes up here, did they change this or what? I want to get down to that helicopter because I know for a fact there's AKs in the back of that usually. Occasionally one spawns on this table, or it used to back a couple patches ago, it might have been changed now. Ooh. That's Gary. That's an SKS. Yeah, these guns are like, going pretty hard on each other. I don't even know why I tried to shoot back, because I'm pretty sure you can't do shit with this. The problem lies now with the fact that he knows I'm up here, and he knows that I've only got two ways down, both of which he has covered from where he is. So fucking yay me. At least from what I've seen, the shotguns seem to be the meta. You get one, insure it, go try and get a kit by shooting someone in the legs repeatedly, because it's like the one part of your body that's not protected. You throw your fucking shotgun through a wall, and it'll be returned to you. Not if you get shot in the fucking back, it won't, though. Gotcha, bitch. Pretty sure I didn't, but anyway. Not about to complain, that's for sure. He had a Saiga too, I'm pretty sure. They're pretty good with the extended mag from what I've seen from a few other dudes' videos. Hope that other dude had a backpack, but I don't think he did. Even a small one at this point would be alright. Ooh, yoink. Oh, I know where that other dude went. Yes, from what I understand, these are the current meta, this particular shotgun. You get like another tube for it that's extended, I guess you could say. And then you just aim for the old legs and let it rip. Must be a gun here, or at least there was before someone took it, because... Yep, I yep, thought so. Fuck that thing off. Give me that. The reason I like these is because they usually spawn with a magazine that has actual ammo in it. I suppose we should look at getting out. There's no point getting greedy. Alright, we're just about here. Now hopefully no fucking players camp in it. Better yet, hopefully the scavs are already dead that usually hang around the exit. But what do you think my chances of that'll be? Pretty fucking good, apparently. What I might do is I might just sell the AKS. I'll chuck that over there. Right in there. Gotta keep those. Sell the fucking Saga too, fuck it. Get rid of these things because they're fucking awful.
So my fucking internet dropped out again. Not one thing is a fucking other. So I'll probably make this little last run here the last run. Just really wanted to test out these shotguns and see what I thought of them personally. Wouldn't fucking really matter to be honest anyway. I can't hit the broadside of a house. Ooh, juicy. I'll take that. Of course I find one of them. Right, I'll just take the magazine for now, I guess. I don't know whether they've changed the spawns for this key that's usually here or not, but I do know one other spot where it supposedly spawns, so I guess I'll go check there. That's a bit risky, but we'll give it a go. What is in the jacket? Ooh, medkit. Key, 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 key. Be the key. That's not the key. Yep. Well, that's what I get for blind looting, I guess. I did have a quick look around, but I didn't fucking see him. Good on him for being a sneaky little bastard, anyway. I'll probably just leave the video there, I reckon. It wasn't really supposed to be a video about the game in particular. It was just a way of having to talk to you dudes about what's possibly going to be coming up, especially with the name change and that. I didn't want a heap of dudes just freaking out, wondering, like, why they're subscribed to some random-ass name that they don't recognize. Although, it would have been pretty obvious, I would have imagined. But just in case, I thought I'd actually make a video so people know what the go is. If you aren't following me on social medias, both Facebook and Twitter, then please do, and don't be scared to interact, because the more you interact with me, the more I will back. You'll also get to have you say if I do a vote, where I ask people what they'd like to see me play, or what challenges within a game they'd like to see me do. So if you haven't followed me already, the links will be in the description, and in the banner. Jump on over and hit that follow button, and I shall see you in the next video, guys. Later.